The long-eared owl is a shy, secretive bird that's seldom seen or heard. Surprisingly small, they have superb camouflage, giving them the ability to hide away in conifers, scrub, hawthorn, and other places where they can't be seen during the day. Their main prey is field voles and other small mammals, as well as birds and sometimes amphibians and reptiles. Long-eared owls are usually only heard calling during the breeding season. Males have a hoop similar to blowing over the top of a glass bottle. Whilst the female's call is like blowing through a comb in paper. Long-eared's often nest in the abandoned stick nests of crows and magpies. These nests are often in conifers or even on top of hawthorn. If there aren't any old disused nests for the long ear to use, they'll sometimes nest on the ground. Artificial nest sites can be provided in the form of baskets, either wire or wicker and lined with carpet and twigs. These baskets can be of particular value in places where there aren't many crows or magpies and may even be used by tawny owls or kestrels. The call of the young long-eared owls sounds like a squeaky iron gate. Their calls resonate through the forests at dusk and are a sure sign of breeding. The owlets are vulnerable in open nests, so they branch into the nearby trees at just two and a half to three weeks of age. There they will continue their development and will be fed by the parents until they're old enough to fend for themselves. Their nest sites can sometimes inadvertently be destroyed by landowners, not realising that old crow and magpie nests are also used by birds of prey. The long-eared owl has highly evolved hearing capabilities, with a facial disc and large ear openings either side. They are an ancient species and have remained pretty much unchanged for millions of years. However, because of their secretive nature, they remain relatively under-recorded in the UK. Despite its name, the ear tufts are just feathers. They aid camouflage by breaking up the outline of the owl, and they're also used for communication. Orange eyes distinguish the long-eared owl from the similar and closely related short-eared owl. The eye colour suggests they're a crepuscular species, active at dawn and dusk. although many long-eared are actually quite nocturnal. Every autumn, migrant long-eared owls from Scandinavia and Eastern Europe visit the UK for the winter. These visiting birds will often form communal roosts, hiding away in shelter belts, hawthorn and bramble during the day, and then coming out to hunt at night. Long-eared owls are often overlooked by conservation groups yet they need protection from habitat and nest site loss, just like the other species of owl. This beautiful, secretive owl may not grab our attention like a white barn owl quartering a spring meadow, or a noisy tawny owl calling from the woods during the autumn, but it's living in our forests and needs our protection, just like all the other owls. The long-eared owl, the secretive forest owl.